Good morning, afternoon and evening everyone. This is Hippie Tesla and welcome to another session of Resident Evil Outbreak 4 player online. Uh, this time we start with 4 players right away. Uh, we're doing something special here. We're doing what I like to call Bob Break. Um, basically I'm going to be Bob from the Outbreak scenario. And the trick with him is he starts in danger he has a ton of health he's a mark type uh, so we're gonna see some of the mark gameplay or not because Bob's gonna be <laughs> running for his life most of the time because the trick is to survive as Bob on the very hard without um, without healing even once and on outbreak on very hard some enemies are different some of my nightmares <laughs> Yes, Bob. <laughs> I'll start the game. So we have four players tonight and we're gonna challenge ourselves actually rather than the game. Oh my god, it's a team of whatever, ragtag hooligans. Everybody's unknown. I don't know who have the... the <laughs> so these are all NPC. When you see that silhouette instead of a character, they're NPC characters. You can consider them costumes. But they're more than costumes, because like I said, they have the same basic skills as the main eight characters, but they have different stats, different running speed, uh, damage output, uh, what else, uh, health, uh, starting items, so their main skill item is there, but for instance, Bob starts with, uh, not just with the pistol, like Mark does, but also with ten bullets, uh, I think it's ten, so... He has kind of advantage, but also huge disadvantages because he starts his danger. Now, I believe, I didn't check actually, but I believe his danger is equal to Yoko's fine. So it's not as bad as it sounds. Bob is quite a tank. He's one of the uh, characters with the highest HP in the game as far as I'm aware. There we go. It's a weird customer. Customer. Who is this guy? <laughs> That's me. That's Bob. He's unconscious. Are you all right? Um, danger. <laughs> I can't say I'm fine. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. What the hell was that? See, that doesn't happen every time. When he says, what the hell was that? I'm pretty sure he, it doesn't. I heard it the other day as well. Maybe because I'm Bob, I don't know. I'm gonna see that. But now, I gotta do this right. Let's see who the real Bob is. No, fuck, they found me. I failed at the start. I like to meld into other Bob, my evil twin. Fuck you, evil twin. No, you're okay. Are we gonna push those barrels? You want an old hurt man to push the barrels? Oh my god, what a... What kind of people am I working with here? <laughs> Look, I have a fatal wound that I'm pushing here. There we go. Nice work, Bob. Let's go, other Bob. Bob's so powerful he can tackle through fucking solid objects. Bob doesn't care about time and space. He just keeps going. No. Do not heal Bob. You shall not heal Bob. Oh, is it unlocked? We have an Alyssa. That's really good. Thank you, Alyssa. Alicia? Alyssa. <laughs> Let's go, Bob. Bob versus Bob. Oh, that was fast. Had I been Kevin, I'd already be jumping the roof. Uh, evading the crows. <laughs> but yeah, get used to Bob in danger, because that's how we're gonna spend this game. He's gonna get poisoned at one point. 98%, 99.9% 9 certainly. If I dodge that somehow, that would be a miracle. And uh, 
What I didn't know, again, until I started playing online, is in Outbreak, unlike in other, like in the first three Resident Evil games at least, here, when you're poisoned, you can still remain on 1 HP and live, so you're not just gonna drop dead from death, but other things can kill you. What? Like anything that touches you after 1 HP, you basically die. And the fast heartbeat, we heard it yesterday, I didn't talk about it, so the lower your health, the faster the heartbeat is. It's kind of audio cue if you didn't open the menu to check your health. Bob to the rescue. Well, Alyssa to the rescue. Bob to the... Whatever Bob does. Wait, where's the other Bob? Did you leave my twin out there? I will kill you all when I zombify. Come on, Bob. You can do it, old boy. Oh my god, where are the teammates? I'll have to block this off. Mark. Yes, here they come. Come on. Y come on. Yoko. Cindy. Y Alyssa. Yoko. <laughs> Dead Bob. Springing up to right life. Yes, where's Yoko? No, do not heal Bob. You just ruined Bob break. What's wrong with you, Cindy? Oh. Well, okay. We'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, let's see which Bob survives. Damn it, I was healed. I'm just regular old healthy Bob now. Okay, I'll help my twin. I think she opened the door already. That's right, Alyssa. Thank you. Yes. Uh, okay, hopefully I don't get healed anymore. We're getting half the bar break here. But you can bet we'll do a full bar break oh in the God. future. <laughs> Bob's gonna get drunk because his brother's dying. Where is that? We should have... Actually, I'm gonna be brave. We should have Barry's bottle here. Yep. I'm gonna examine that in the safe area later. Are you okay? Cindy. Are you okay? Someone's getting chopped. Are you okay? Hang on. Are you okay? I love how they only have like one common and one very rare uh, voice line Hang when... On. Oh my god, I gotta protect my brother! Urgh. Oh, I saved him actually. Pfft, fuck you, bro. Leave my brother alone. I have full health now, so I can't be the running up the ladder, Bob. I have to protect my twin. There's a lot of nepotism in uh, Raccoon Security Department uh, offices, so that's why so many twins are working there. What the hell? That was like a a hit in a head. Uh. I'm just saving ammo by tacking the best. And the key is to time it well just before he's out to get you again. Ah! That was not timed well. Thank you. Let's go. Okay, you take one, Cindy. I'll take. Oh, I have to help Cindy. Oh, fuck. My beautiful Bob Knack. Okay, it would be fair to get down to 1 HP here. Doing a Bob break. Let's try that block. See? Uh, Bob block. Uh, you will not bite me, sir. I have the Bob block. Come on. Bob block. Where are you bastards? I can't see you. Alright. I guess I'll climb. What's my health? This is like quarter of ball break. We're getting there. <laughs> Do you like ball break so far? Uh, digital purge theory? <laughs> it is a special mode that people made to make the game more fun.
<laughs> well, we have Amelia here with the key. Bob is kind of safe. Everybody else is... Rita's okay. Dorothy's on red caution. Amelia's on red caution. What you'd expect from Outbreak very hard with a Bob. The next level of this would be to not use the forklift and just bash the shutter uh, with two bobs, maybe even a cabin, just for, you know, to soak up all the damage, being the expert in dying and all that. Oh, I think someone fell. No, they're all... I think that was Bob. Save my twin! I'm coming, bro, I'm coming. Come on, I'm the fast running Bob now. I can use my wrongly impaired vitality to help you, bro. I'm coming. Open shutter, you fucking asshole. My brother needs my help. Urgh. Well, worst case scenario, we'll do whatever a good uh, zombie game does. We'll get uh, drunk in the uh, liquor room while dying to the zombie horde. Holy shit! Leave my brother alone! You monsters! Hasn't he been through enough? There we go, bro. I got you. Oh, you still owe me 10 bucks, so I can't let you go till you pay that back, really. Okay, it's time to protect the bro from the goddamn vultures. <laughs> I think we can do that, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can do that in file 2. Come on, bro, okay, let's try to zigzag. I have the shooter if necessary. My head will protect you, bro. Urgh! Fuck off, crow. We're not dying yet. We're, we bobs are pretty... Oh, no. We bobs... Our greatest uh, weakness is a pack of crows. Oh, okay, one down. You can do it. Bob one. Yes. Is it alive? I don't want it to fly. Yeah. Okay, bro, I got gotcha. you. I don't have you, bro. You're kind of. I'm kind of clipping through you, bro. Come on, we can do it. Why can't I pick up my brother? What the hell? Oh, because I'm dying too. Help my brother! Help other Bob! Fuck you, bro killer. I love how poorly he's aiming with the, uh, when, when he's hurt. <laughs> Yep, good old Bob, always on the verge of death. I've masked him to Mark in this cutscene, just, you know, me. it would be easier on him to die. Now, as I mentioned uh, in Bob's one of the previous streams, no, you don't Bob, Mark. on very hard, doesn't stay dead. <laughs> no and them. it's feel quite possible I'll just spawn with him on my neck already. Which is okay, brother for brother. Bob and Bob. Well, what I meant was uh, Digital Purgatory. In, um, in file 2, you can select right the... Oh, there we go, brother and brother. He killed himself, and now he decided to cut my destiny. Oh. No, wait, I don't need the gun now. Wait, okay, I gotta care someone to carry me. I'm the carrier, and I'm being carried. Thank you. Wait. Right. Save Bob. Yeah. 0800, save Bob. Wait. Please help Bob escape safely. Oh my god. Right. What a team of almost dead people. Now, this is going to be very... Uh, <laughs> This is gonna be very tricky with the crows and usually I just butt in to jump first because I'm like proud that I can time it well which when I say that usually I don't time it well but 
what well, that's the fun <laughs> there are more people who have who can currently run faster so somebody might beat me to it do not heal bob heal everybody else we don't have crows actually yeah i can't die as long as there are no crows we're okay we're a-okay bob can jump in the first try okay amelia wants to do it no amelia don't be scared you just jump Oh my god! Help Cindy. Amelia! Cindy. Cindy. Did you find anything? Thank you. Okay, she's got strong muscles. No! Bob wants to jump. Yes. No! Let Bob jump. Stop holding him. Thank you very much. Yes! Bob right. jumps in the first try. Go and even help other survivors. That's the virtue of Bob. Can you do it, Bob? Yes, he can. Do not heal Bob. Oh my god, Cindy. You're fired, Cindy. Look at this. What am I now? Straight up, Bob. <laughs> I like that. Do not heal Bob. Cindy, go to hell. <laughs> Bob will sacrifice at the elevator zombie. Uh. Oh my god, that's a really tall female zombie. Are you in some kind of... Are you related to the tall woman from RE8? Ah, uh, this is like Bob break easy mode, I guess. Alyssa, exactly, when you hear the second footstep, that's right. And thankfully, the timing doesn't uh, depend on uh, the room master. It entirely depends on... Uh, your actual yeah. console. At least that's what I found in experiments. Oh, Bob's getting bitten, as Bob does. What the hell? I would, but there's like five of them. Uh, leave Bob alone. No, Bob, try to tackle. Pass him, boy. Can you do it? Yes, like that. Thank you. You saved my life. All right, good old Bob. Yeah, Thanks. maybe you could. <laughs> Yoko. Yoko. I'm not talking about Don't resistance, of course. <laughs> yes. Yoko. Do not heal. Bob will do touch forward. Never. Yoko. Never? Should Mark. I go? Mark. No. Help me. Bob cannot wait while people are suffering. Officer alive. Doofus here ain't doing anything anyway. We need all the help we can get. Now, move the police car over there to build a barricade. Go! It's a game that's easy to learn and hard to master, honestly. But it's worth it. Honestly, I enjoy resistance. I really do. Bob will just hide here as Bob does. Maybe he finds something. Though he could help push. But there are the enemies I've been talking about. Fucking earwigs. I hate them in real life. I hate them in this game. But they are really like a really su sweet inclusion of an enemy. They're called scissor tails here. Uh, basically what I wanted to say was... Uh, resistance has a lot of potential it has it's a really sweet idea but a lot of little things they miss that's what ruins it especially for new players if you haven't started on day one getting into it now can be rather difficult when all the no 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 okay i'm gonna get poisoned see the blue blue one will poison me the red one will ble bleed me it's a mess and there's always four of them on the screen so even if you kill some uh they, they will respawn, but Bob here is gonna fight the bus door, because that's what Bob's good at, fighting the door. Huh. Let's empty the clip into it. Not that I'll need these bullets for anything else. Oh yeah, I have still more bullets, come on Bob, faster, I know you're hurt, you gotta reload. Oh, what a miss! Then use it on that. I should step on it. Okay, that, like that, thank you. 
We just keep him busy, we should be good. It's gonna stab me. I see it coming. Oh god, oh god, come on Bob and equip, bro. Oh, there we go, poisoned. Okay, people are stepping on it. Bob, Bob helps everywhere. Come on, Bob. You're the hero of this story, bro. I mean, sir, you're... I shouldn't call you bro, I should treat you with respect. The unsung hero of an outbreak. Urgh. Fuck that door. Fuck that earwig, fuck everything. <laughs> he is, you're right. Oh. He decided to take his own life. Like, it was the first casualty in the game. Well, not counting Will, of course. Obviously nobody cared about Will because we just left him to die. I don't, I've never been able to save him in the checklist thingy. I've never seen that as a, as an item saving a private Will, so I'm pretty sure you can't. And on very hard, if you don't have a list or, or don't mash that first door, you gotta wait for the zombies to enter and then pick the key off of Will's corpse, which tells me he wouldn't share it with us. So fuck Will. Bob's the man. Hey, listen, you should go now. Huh. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, <laughs> what a weird customer. What are you doing to my neck right here? Oh. <laughs> oh. Fucking earwigs. Well, I hope somebody got the lighter uh, ahead of time. We'll see. I didn't check anybody, anybody, anybody's inventory. So Bob will just do, now do a Bob tackle all the way to the end. I hope I don't spawn in first. Yes, there's gonna be one airwig coming out of that. Yep, so I can just tackle past it. Rarely ever hits me, except this time, apparently. Yep, that's gonna hit me this time. Oh, ho, ho, no. Okay, Ooh, saved by the cutscene. Oh, boy. Oh, Bob. Okay, it's time to cause the whole Hellfire incident by destabilizing the boilers. Fuck you, Irwig. Yeah. So, like I said yesterday, my theory is because uh, Applin is right next to this truck, my theory is that this cutscene here is the cause of the boiler instability in, uh, in Hellfire and the whole... Uh, scenario, but correct me if I'm wrong, if you know more. <laughs> I mean, people oft often say there's a special place in hell for those who let Bob die, so... Alyssa. It's a real saying. Jump, Bob! Go. Go. No yes, way. we're all here. There we go. Goodbye, Apollin. And the four people trapped in there. And of course, the firefighters, uh, Len and Charlie. But you know, that oh, this all did give birth to the uh, Kevin Oscar, Oscar winning uh, performance. So, you know, every bad has a good side, as they say. Are you climbing, Bob? I can't see. It's, sometimes it's really hard. Yeah, that's me. Well, they are, but if you play certain Good. scenarios with certain characters... No, do not heal. Wait, Cindy, wait. give up. No way. That's yeah. not acceptable. It does connect to main games, and it I does know. connect some scenarios between each other. Like, this whole section is explorable in the final scenario of File 2, which I didn't know until I started playing online. Because uh, I've never... I've never reached that in File 2 on single player. I only got to uh, flashback and I, I couldn't. I just. It was too much for me because I didn't get the whole idea of this being an online game because the first one wasn't online in Europe. So uh, it was all weird with two people following me, etc. And finally. When the concept like went through my head, it all made sense. But then I vowed I'll actually beat these games online, and I did. And I haven't start stopped playing them. This is basically all, all I've been playing for the past the two months. I'm gonna say. 
Okay, Bob, you hero. Keep going. It is. But it's really well made. It really... I think it's perfect mix of the classic survival, Resident Evil survival horror formula with online elements and not having online chat, having to rely on ad-lib. Uh, see, he reacts to the current situation. Um, it really helps, like, it really helps put you more in the, in the shoes of a horror game rather than, you know... Kind of reminds me of what Dead Space tried to do with Dead Space 3 when, you know... Uh, two players see two different things because one of them is insane. We're all cl crying for Capcom to remake this game. It doesn't. You don't even have to remake it. Just like port it as is. It li really looks fine. I'm playing this with, on my TV with the uh, uh, on the actual PlayStation 2 with component cables. So 480i. I'll just start the most dreaded. No, Cindy. Oh God, Cindy. You're fired, Cindy. Um. 480i, so unlike Resident Evil 4 on the PlayStation 2, this doesn't even have 480p. The stream is actually using the composite cable, because that's the best uh, I can do right now with this equipment. And it looks really fine for a 2003 game. Slap this onto, to, onto the Xbox One, Series X, whatever, Terminator X, and uh, it'll run. Just make it cross-compatible between the platforms, something that Resistance never had. People will buy it. I know I can list like off the top of my head 50 people who buy it. They did it with Devil May Cry, which is just like they didn't do it with the first three Resident Evil games, the PlayStation Classics. Barricades. Uh, they didn't do it with uh, with Outbreak, but they did it with Devil May Cry. I mean, what gives? Who decides this shit? Yeah, reverse looks disappointing. Like I was, I was seriously, re uh, I had my reservation considering the, the. Oh God, Cindy, you're so fired. No, Cindy. No, where's Cindy? No, that's. No, again. So just we're clear, Cindy. No. <laughs> yeah. I guess Bob's gonna get a Magnum. I could have thrown that thing. Um, I had reservations about Resistance and like I said I liked it but it's a definitely a game you don't want to solo queue. It's a game you want to play with uh, a squad. What now? Let's see where everybody else is. There they come. There they come. Um, and a lot of people are solo queuers so you know they might have fun as masterminds but not as much as survivors. Uh, definitely not as much survivor. You can't have fun solo queuing survivor and resistance. Uh, if if somebody's found a way to do that, maybe if you've been lobotomized or something, you can't uh, you can't experience f uh, frustration and anger. Then maybe, but you need a full team. And even with a full team, it's really challenging not conforming to you know what most people do like the most powerful builds making it like we're doing here with bob rake similar thing but the halted development is what killed that game for me honestly that was really sad like six months support the game i've played betas in or you know like unmade games that had longer lifespan it's just disgraceful <laughs> exactly. I think that's why she's punished to wear that uh, bunny outfit. Because uh, she doesn't like it. If you check all the special items, there are requirements for assembling the bunny outfit. She is appalled at it. But, um, buy it. But, maybe that's it. Maybe that's how they wanted to punish her. For healing Bob. You think Bob is incompetent? You think Bob can survive with 1 HP? Ugh. I know people do that tackle thing to get down the stairs uh, faster or climb up, but to me it's all about the aesthetics and to be honest, like when I open doors or run up and down the stairs in real life, oh Cindy, you can't do everything. Let Bob do the thing, Bob's the real hero here. Did she get it? No, okay, Bob's gonna get it. Help me Cindy, now be useful. Oof, oof, Urgh. Okay, Bob's gonna stay in the background, because obviously he's been... Young people are trying to take his job, that's so not fair, but 
Bob's an old warrior. Come on, no, you're gonna be bitten, Bob. Yeah. Oh, fuck, am I going down? No, I'm not. Yep, there we go. Uh, ball break, easy mode complete, I guess. <laughs> no, no, we finished as regular old dying Bob, so that should be, that should count for something. Although we will, we will have a stern uh, talking to Cindy, give St Cindy a stern talk to and, uh, you know, explain her that she can't treat, um, you know, her elders like that. If he didn't ask for help, he doesn't want fucking help. When he says Cindy no, that means Cindy no. No means no with Bob. I've morphed into Mark again. And yeah, we've only seen I think Kevin. Kevin! Uh and Dink so far. Of outbreak, I mean the scenario. <laughs> I like that. A heel offender. <laughs> she fed me she fed me <laughs> weird green herbs <laughs> from her pouch. She's carrying this pouch full of herbs and when she has them she goes like I found it <laughs> and she wanted me to join her. Fucking hippies. <laughs> I think we can skip this pound, it's always the same. But somebody didn't skip. Oh boy, that was fun. Uh, yeah, so next thing we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do a below freezing point, a Yokolas game, uh, which means that we can cannot skip the f uh, B5F. And uh, we'll have to we'll have to go down there, face whatever's there. Also, without Yoko, the researcher won't give us on very hard. It's five gray explosive bottles, which sucks, but uh, it's a risk we're willing to take. Or I don't know. We could do the reason why I want to go Yokolis is to go to fifth B5F, but we could still do it and visit the researcher as another thing. Let's see what the team thinks. I'll create a new game. The meantime. Saving of that file complete. Juggling keyboards. Switching to the PS2 keyboard. Uh, uh, with friends. We have a guest, so, uh, who plays with us occasionally, but I guess we didn't communicate to them that we're doing, uh, what what ball break actually is? We didn't lay the ground rules of ball break. <laughs> so let's see. This is gonna be. This is gonna be. So are we getting a Yoko then? You know what? I'm gonna be Mark here again. This is this is a Mark night. Um. Well. Let's just go with beef. I can't. I can't think of anything funny right now. <laughs> okay, very hard. Friendly fire. We'll leave that for another time. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. So four players, ten minutes. Very hard. Be sure to change the the actual scenario. We'll go vacation mark. And well, I don't think we need the password because. In 6-6, six, six, even if somebody finds it, we'll... <sighs> what was it? We'll... Gently and politely? Yeah, we'll calmly and politely ask them to get the fuck out of my game! No, we're not gonna do that. Yeah, I think that was Cindy. I'm pretty sure it was. I didn't check, to be honest. So people are joining. Duh, we can see the member list. I don't know if it updates live as people join, but we could check that out. We have a Mickey. Oh my god, we have a Mickey. So Mickey is was 
is one of the characters who were supposed to be uh, file three characters or so it's rumored and uh, people unlocked them um, via well, I think they patched a save uh, file or something because those characters are in the game like a lot of file two characters are I think only uh, somebody uh, mentioned today only a couple of file two characters aren't actually in file one but oh it doesn't update live okay we're ready to go Gotta make sure everyone's okay. And uh, Mickey is one of them. He was supposed to be. He's one of the from one of the buried. Uh, do we have a Monica? I didn't check. Mickey said the Axeman. We have an Axeman. Oh, ho, ho, this is gonna be fun. Okay, then I guess we are. Uh, and what was I saying? Yeah, Mickey was uh, was supposed to be in one of the cut scenarios, a day in Raccoon, which. Seeing all the press from the time and the trailers looked really interesting. But there's at least six known cut scenarios. Or the way they announced the game uh, as uh, Network Biohazard and Resident Evil Online. Um, it was supposed to have 16 scenarios. But it was cut down to 5, then another 5 in File 2. A lot of improvements in File 2. And I guess because of uh, four sales, it never went on. But obviously, this game has, both games have a really passionate uh, block of followers, so to say. Okay, Mark. Okay, there's Yoko. So she's gonna be an NPC here. Jim. So Axman is David. That makes sense. And Mickey is Jim. He was to. He was supposed to be a very mean character I think it is I mean I'm playing a PlayStation 2 online in 2021 that's gotta count for something oh no not the electric pressure again that really bothers me every time every time we play this if we're not skipping these cutscenes I will talk about electric pressure thank you very much there we go Yoko's done like what the fuck that gate opens Oh really? There's a lot of people on the uh, on the server playing daily, and uh, it's it's pretty live. I will say, Mark will trigger Yoko's pew! vacation mark. It's pretty lively most of the time. I, I, in fact, I've never been there where there's there was no one online. At least, usually file two is busier, but file one is tonight. It's brimming. Which is great. What is a lot of people. Capsule? Wait, wait. Are you after this too? Calm down, Mila. You are, aren't you? We forgive oh, you for that so? 70s show. I, I don't understand what you're well, stop about. it. Uh, don't I don't know. I'm just messing. I love Nola Queens. You can't fool me. You could never fool me. I mean, my favorite role of hers was definitely Jackie but from that 70s show, but she else. nailed Mag as well, somehow. Bravo. And Give me your ID card. I've seen it in other things, I'm sure. Oh, I believe you. You little lifesaver. <laughs> I'm so glad we had this chance to catch up. Huh. Apparently, I watched the movie I don't even remember watching. Have a nice life. Adulthood strikes whenever you don't expect it. Okay. I'm. It would be great if you wanted Digital Purgatory. You can join us for one of the future streams. This should be. This is something I want to do daily. Cause this game ain't boring me anytime soon. I haven't, like in these streams, we usually do the fast path, but I'm planning when we're more like stretched, so to say. I want to do more of a. Is that a gun? No. I want to do more of a. In depth, like show other things, uh, uh, optional stuff that all the maps have. Goodbye, Yoko. It was nice knowing you. Next time we meet her, she's gonna be a zombie. Uh, we have a killer among us. Did you notice, guys? Like, a killer right behind the healer. Uh, what are you doing, Mark? A, s a security guard on vacation. Uh, cowardly but mean man. This is quite a crew. 
We should have a special item here, yep, on matching shoes, on very hard. Yeah, we've found it yesterday too. So we're gonna get separated now. This is what this map does. Every character ends in the different on a different floor or hallway. So I did, I'm not still sure. So I'm in B6 F East. So that means <laughs> that means what does that mean? I need to go here. That means, oh no! I need to go the other way. Oh no, I need to go here. This guy's gonna get up and then I'm fucked, yep. I didn't make up my mind on time. But this is a good gun, and if I do this, yep, I can rejoin my teammate who's also on this floor, hopefully, and uh, do the floor together. If David's here, that would be awesome, because he can just open this without the wrench, as far as I know. Who's there? I can hear you. I'll take one green, leave some for the rest. Oh, there's the map. Cindy. You got a wrench? Yes! Okay. My goal today is protect, to protect Cindy. I will not fail. <laughs> Except when I have to save my own life. Because I need to be alive to protect her, I mean. <laughs> I have a ton of health, so I'm sure I'll be there to revive her. Let's go, Cindy. I will... No, 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 Cindy, why are you gonna go first? Yes, go, Cindy, go! Thank I will take the bite. The bite? Am I baiting you, sir? No? Whoop! Okay, we made it. Now I'll take care of him while she toss the wrench. Thanks. Out, out, you asshole! Leave my Cindy alone. No, I just have to keep timing this. Oh, I think there's more of them here. Oh, God, there's more of them. Did she do it? She did. Okay. We'll have to run. Maybe I should have gotten that. Oh, it's Zombie Yoko. Let's go! She's gonna bite me! No, thank you. Go, go, come on. I'll grab the ammo. Go, go, go. Before we go. Yeah! Nice. Nice, Cindy. Nice. <laughs> okay, I'll protect her as she opens that. Not wasting ammo on these simple towns. She's not a soldier, she's a waitress, Mark. I love the sliding doors because they allow you to enter, like I said, uh, as soon as they open, so you can go there. Oh, I, I vote we go back. But I'll protect. Okay, we can go there. And there's another zombie. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. Yes. You go, I'll protect. If they... Yes. I should have... Leave Cindy alone. Yes. Let's go. Yes. I'll take the other guy. Open it. Oh, or are we gonna go there? Okay, yeah, we can do that as well. You're right, Cindy. You're completely right. And they did it. So, one of the things I like doing here is actually challenging more um, getting the chemical because the B7F crew actually assembled a V-Jolt v to kill the plant. Um, plant 43, I guess. I guess the one in Resident Evil 1 was 42. And um, coming back through the central room and uh, killing the plant on this floor because you get a different cutscene. And it's also one of the checklist items. We can hear the footsteps of our... Yep, they're outside. Jim, Cindy, Cindy. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. There we go. This is going well. A lot easier with four players than two. David. David. Come on, come on. I'm going to give this to Cindy. Cindy. To Cindy. Mickey, don't touch. Holy shit, that guy always scares me. No, you're not Cindy. There we go. She can mix him into... I guess she got it. If not, I'll share it again. <laughs> Took me two. I had to read that twice, yeah. <laughs> He's obviously escaping without Bob, so we're assuming Bob did all that by himself, and Mark is now 
running away with Yoko, he was like, yeah, this this girl seems smarter than that old beat up man, so I'll follow her. And look what happened. I was I'm never clear. If this is if Monica was just like slapped by Willy, or by his, uh, or by one of his offspring. But I guess it doesn't matter. She got up impregnated with the G virus. And, Oh, you want it, Cindy? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. I picked up several things. Let's just try to stay. I said. So we have to get the card on B4F, oh, and then go to oh my God. here B5F. No. We also need to get the codes. I hope, I hope to God someone got the codes for the shutter. Otherwise, this was all for nothing. And I think they were on B6F. Should I sacrifice myself for that? Let me see, maybe I got him? Nope, I haven't gotten a single file of this, so I'm hoping they got it. Wait a second. Because I know we need a certain code to unlock the... Oh, I think it's at the shutter, actually. Let me check. Will they do that? I'm gonna check. Hi, Frozen Hunter. First aid spray. I'll take it instead of one of the bowls, which I mostly won't use. Emptying ribbon here on every every difficulty, each every every difficulty. And let's check what's this. Shotgun rounds. We have a David. Fuck the pole. I mean the whatever. David's gonna fix the shotgun. That's gonna be awesome. Mark has a gun and bullets. He has two guns. I'm risking poisoning, but that's okay. What's here? There was an herb, somebody's got... Oh no, it's ammo, I think, I see it. Is it there? No, just my imagination. As the guy in the Resident Evil 4 intro said, must be my imagination. Maybe here's the document for that? Is that the password for the key thing? Not that one, the one on B5F. Okay. A wired controller can be a mess. Okay, teammates, hopefully you got it. Someone got the code. Oh boy. Hmm. Outbreak has a lot of potential being remade in different fashion. But you know, this would be just re releasing it would be a start. Like I said, no. Not much is needed. It's like Final Fantasy XII. So, what Square did there was uh, they made Final Fantasy XII. They're gonna do it, I'm pretty sure. Let me check B5F. I think they're on their way. They're basically going to the moth layer, B5F computer room, to register their fingerprints. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, so Square uh, made Final Fantasy XII on the PlayStation 2. It's one of the actually worst looking PS2 games if you're using widescreen and component cables. Just because they had to low, use low, res, low internal resolution. Yeah, they're there. Okay. Oof, sounds like a call for help. Or to the rescue and um, but the the assets were made so the internal low resolution had to be done for the game to run okay that's just like well tell me that's a it's a file at least yeah that's the code that's the code oh asshole how did you hear me sometimes they don't hear you sometimes when you use adlib they hear you I don't know what's up I think they're registering. Pretty sure they are. Yep, there's two people there. Okay. I'm not needed here, probably. I could wait and defend them from a potential zombie. They're gonna come this way anyway. What happened? That's a zombie behind me, crawling in. What now? 
might be even smarter to okay another file number of guests four and Leon and Claire will register as guests in later okay I found something. Wait. there's a zombie here uh -huh. yes. slowly I'll know when Mark turns his head that he sees the zombie okay David's going there first let's go no, Mickey, come on! Stop sacrificing yourself, Mickey. We know you can play dead. Come on. Mickey, always the hero. Thanks. Oh, look, watch out for the liquor. Right. So, I've... Okay. I've think it, yeah, I talked about this in the... Uh, in the first episode. Uh, I'm probably gonna mention it quite a few times. If you play the European version first, it's quite okay if you didn't like the game, because it didn't make any sense. It was like dumbed down to single player, a lot of events were missing, because anything you couldn't do without your teammates, it's not the same game in experience. On paper and on screen, it's the same game, but in experience, when you play it, it's not the same. The bots are wonderful, I'm gonna give him that, so no matter what people say, these bots, this is gonna sound cruel, but these bots can... What? Go what down. now? I... Come on. I don't think so. What? Oh, he left something there. It's just an iron pipe. No. I have a gun, so... Uh, what was I saying? It's gonna sound cruel, but bots can be more responsive to your, like, requests when you use the ad-lib, come here, help me, etc. than many resistance players have played in random queues with. And that's just... You know, that blows my mind. Uh, especially like I, I'm comparing them to like that and the uh, and the bots from Left 4 Dead, which are pretty capable. They're bots. They're computer. They're not humans. Okay, this is gonna be funky. I'm so sorry. It's gonna be a hunter here. This is very hard. I'm gonna sacrifice myself. Keep fresh. Oh, that's why Mickey wanted. Me. Together we're gonna fuck him up. Ah, okay, together he's gonna fuck me up. Jim? Boy? Yeah, that's what I meant. No! Instant death! Is that an instant death? Come on. I'm gonna die so bad. Fuck you. Okay. Hunters can insta-kill you. I was pushed back. <laughs> That's lovely. I love this game. <laughs> the cluster fucks at the door. You're right in time to save Cindy. Hold on, Cindy. Mark's here. Whatever you missed there. I'm not gonna get it. No, oh, no, no, no. Wrong. Oh, I didn't wait for him to turn. Fuck off, you bastard. Whoo. They can insta kill you here, trust me. If you're low in health, if they do the jump thing, you're going down. Thank you. Yes. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's broken. Yep. So that's what happens when hunters get you. When they hit you with a weapon equip. That's why you don't equip a weapon in front of a hunter. I said that yesterday. I did it. And this was a better gun. But yeah, we have a David. Wait. 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 Yeah, I'm cool. right. David, right. please fix. <sighs> no, no. It can insta kill you. Trust me. I've been there. Especially in, uh, uh, maybe not here, but I'm pretty sure it should be. I've seen that happen. But in End of the Road, the final scenario of, uh, of File 2, they can. I've been there. Surrounded by three hunters, I get in, I enter with fine. There we go, X-Men. Please fix that. Oh, and I got a shotgun. Thank you very much. Uh, we can go, because 30 seconds is up. Um, surrounded by three hunters and fine one hits you the second one hits you they do a little like ping pong with you and then the one of them decides to jump that's it just a game over screen and there's a lot of game over screens in this game like insta death pull being pulled out of the window packed by the by the crows while you're hang, hanging from a ledge stuff like that and i love that stuff because that that's what pressures you to to become a better player 
stuff like that. Yeah, it can be scary for new players, it can be frustrating, but that's why you don't start on very hard, you start on easy and in file 2 it gets even easier because you can run around and shoot, I mean walk and shoot, that is just wonderful, it kinda, it feels like a cheat for me in a Resident Evil game. Are those herbs? Yes Cindy, you beautiful bastard you thought I had. We're right on time for the meltdown and god I gotta shut the fuck up, I'm tiring myself out. <laughs> Yep, elephant can be a real uh, menace, especially on harder difficulties. And if you if you let him, like if you, when you take the key from the elephant, from the key that falls down, <laughs> let's go. Let come. Let's watch the tennis match. I'll get the shotgun just in case we have a David to fix it. David? Broken shotgun, oh. What are you doing, David? Are you risking your life again? Who's David? So, two of my friends... Well, one of them is right now in this game. He's a risk taker. I think he's Mickey, but... That David, what David's doing, that's like, they like doing stuff like that. Giving me a heart attack, thinking they're gonna die. I'm not too worried for gym characters, because you can play dead, and if he, unless he's like 80% uh, virus gauge by now, he'll survive this. And in, <laughs> in Decisions Decisions, I like that Jim can just like play dead for eternity. And, like, stalemate with the game. <laughs> if you're out of everything, just play dead. David. Oh my god, where did he go? I think I hear his footsteps, that he's dodging the hunters. Yes, there we go. He's trying... Okay, I'll be ready with the shotgun if he jumps up. We can't watch the tennis match because David had to go down. No, David. No, David! You're gonna die! Oh my god, he's surrounded by two hunters. Oh, okay. Jim, move! I gotta see what he's doing. Come on. No weapons. Okay, are we stunning them? Okay, we're doing that thing. Is he chasing me now? Go up and down, waste his time. 50 seconds, come on, we gotta survive. This is like, we just made it a lot harder. We could have avoided the whole hunter fight. Now we gotta dodge three hunters. Like, what the fuck? Well, I might even get a special cutscene here. Uh, so if you're not on the elevator when the when, when it starts moving you get a special cutscene that goes into the oh Jim's doing his magical work okay they're just ignoring Jim oh my god he's going for me <laughs> sorry Cindy that was not my intention god those long claws I love the hunters and I, I thought for a long time these are hunter alphas from Resident Evil 1 they're actually hunter R's a new a new type, so they're not betas or gammas. <gasps> Do not dare jump. Oh, nice miss. Okay, just a bit more. Just a bit more. Okay, we survived. Woo! <laughs> X-Men, you fool! I love doing that, like... <laughs> the old comedy, like, I think it was the 40s, 50s Hanna Barbera style, like, uh, Flintstones Bob, boss, Mr. Slate would go. Blinston! That's like what I like to do with this. Axeman! This is a good session, I gotta say. Yeah, we did two very good uh, scenarios and very hard. Quite fun.
we entertain some people which is what the point of all of this is hopefully there are some new uh, players some maybe who haven't even played outbreak at all I would like to know what uh, what you make of this we do have more lives yeah. Alyssa is the undisputed king of uh, Adlib. My tits are freezing off! <laughs> Here we go. From a G baby to just a G. A G G. A G. Mama! Mama! He's going through puberty all at once, like all the zits he should have gotten. There they are. I, I I still hear him like meh, meh. <laughs> Okay G we have a shotgun and a bunch of ammo and we have heals and you ain't got nothing on us. And we also have a train on our side, that's right. So let's not let him let's keep him stunned. So he doesn't smack me and he doesn't release any of the young. It's three four gotta count seven bullets. Five, six, reload, pause. Are we gonna even train him? I mean, why not? Oh, beat down and beat up. Oh, don't smack me back. Okay, sir. Fuck you. Down, boy. Oh my god, that's all the bullets, really? Do I have more? Well, it's time. No, I have bullets. Why am I not shooting? Ah, train! Am I dead? Did I survive this right now? I hope I have. I didn't heal. <laughs> <laughs> Baby whale to a resistance player. <laughs> okay. I knew this city was weird. That's a survival. That's a survival. I don't know if I had one HP, but I survived. Really good, really good. Really good. Do we wanna do one hive team? I think that's the that's the one we do the fastest now. Everyone's alive. One third completion ratio, same two special items, and uh, but we don't get use the train because we didn't use it ourselves. Yeah. Okay, let's see if uh, others are for one hive on very hard. Um, I'll take. Uh, Five minute break. Uh, this is Hip Tesla, folks, with Resident Evil Outbreak Online. Be back in five minutes. Welcome back, folks. This is Hip Tesla. Uh, we're streaming Resident Evil Outbreak on the PlayStation 2 online gameplay in 2021. We have a four player team. We're gonna do the hive. So we have George, uh, his nature lover outfit. Um, we have Amelia, Regan, or Regan, 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 and Kathy. All main characters except for me. Well, uh, starting tomorrow, we're gonna uh, we're gonna stream file two, and then coming back so the entirety of file two like we did with one, and then coming back to file one to mess around. Uh, we're gonna do more meme character games, so expect more Mickey, Amelia, and the others. And possibly the stick figure team, that's something I wanna do. Uh, let's see. PS2 keyboard can reach over here. Huh. <laughs> I 
Okay. Alrighty, let's not get tangled in the cables. And do the hive. So I'm gonna be a uh, I wanted to pick Mark for this game too, but the route I'm taking here, so what I'm gonna do is uh get to uh open the shutters on the first floor, going from the second floor stairwell and uh get the B1F card. And uh, I can collect a lot of herbs, blue herbs on my way, and red. So I can make at least two, I think, if not more, large medicine pills, which will be handy. In the meantime, my teammates will uh, take care of the leechman, which is also something I should stream. So, as a promise in the future, Cindy. Alyssa. we're all here. Let's do that, yeah. There he goes. Oh, Arsh. I apologize if I surprised you. Please do not be alarmed. I, I think you were the only one surprised, buddy, but okay. He's like, <gasps> I'm sorry if I surprised you. <laughs> Welcome back, Digital Purgatory. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Did we press the button? So if anybody was in the nurse center, they would hear the sound but also uh, it's one of the uh, it's one of the checklist items for if you want to do a hundred percent on this in this scenario I will wait in the nurse's office because oh yeah actually because I'm George and a doctor <laughs> working in this hospital I already have the full map which I love so I can take this memo which tells us how to escape and when somebody gives me the signal in the room, I will trigger the leechman. Right. Did you find anything? I don't know. Maybe they're maybe they're already out of there while I was talking. <laughs> by now they should have gotten the gun and be been attacked by the leechman, so this should save them unless I fuck them over. Oh. The bloody elevator isn't working. I'm trying to figure out why. It seems the electricity on That's the, the curse of Kevin. Or should I say Kevin? Unfortunately. And uh it just is. I didn't want to accept it uh, uh when I joined online cuz uh I only played both games uh, the whole of all of Outbreak and uh as far as I got in file 2 with Kevin exclusively, I didn't care for other characters. I just imagined they'd have he only has a, you know, a, a gun and a kick. Well, why do I need anything else? But he is, he is intended for new players to get the grasp of the game. But once you once you get feel more comfortable, I highly recommend playing with Cindy, George, Alyssa, well, with everyone else. Even like Jim and Yoko are for more advanced players, but they can be really, really OP if you know how to use them. And that's something that takes practice, which is the value of this game, in my opinion. Alright, that bastard's getting up. I'm gonna get one blood thingy. Don't get bitten. Okay, she's moving. So I'm go I can take this safely before the leech bastard falls in. I'll need at least one. And there's nothing. Oh, wait, there's a hemostat here. Arr, I'll leave it. If someone's bleeding, they might know that it's there. Oh, you beast. Oh, God, it's gonna go after me. It's playing drunk. Okay, I'm gonna risk it. It's probably gonna... Oh, nice. iframes. iframes. Now we go to the second floor to reach the first floor to open the shutters from the night reception or whatever it is. Security office. Pray to God, Leechman's not there, and he is. I might bleed. Okay. Second floor. Come on, guys. Elevator. Maybe someone, maybe one teammate will come with me to protect me, maybe not. We'll see. But I'll keep moving. Woohoohoo! Bye bye. Uh, tip, I know for certain with Jim on some difficulty, I don't know which one. By that trash can I just found, there's a special item that's Jim exclusive. I've been trying to get it, but usually it's crowded so I can get to aim it well. Yep. Iframes are your best friend. 
Okay, let's unlock that. And then I'll open them. We'll go through the part of the hospital that Jill visits in, uh, well, actually Carlos in uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Sure. Might need it. Blood packs are in cold storage. I can hear someone running above me. What? So I'll head no. for the card. Knowing how uh, my team usually works, they're already like on their way to burning the leech man. The trick is the password. So you have to input passwords in B1, con elevator control room, to unlock the access to the uh, to B2F and the rooftop where Kevin and Cindy. So I mentioned Kevin last time. I didn't mention Cindy. Cindy can also. Oh, you bastard! Bye bye. Um. I'll just change the room and he should be gone from there. Uh, no, Cindy cannot pot shot, but that's all they say, yes. But Cindy, for some reason, Cindy and Kevin, I get Kevin, I I will have to try it with Cindy, maybe the dialogue will tell me why. They can get the uh, submachine gun or other stuff depending on difficulty and on the rooftop. And B2F is where we need to burn the leech man. Uh, somebody needs to bait him with blood and get him to the control temp room. Oof, I'll have to drop something possibly. Don't need the knife. Let's open the next shutter. There should be a umbrella here. Sometimes on the... So it's... In file 2 it's much more straightforward how the S SP items spawn. In uh, file 1 uh, there are four possible paths. A, a and B paths, like possible places where they can spawn, are on easy and normal, and uh, C and D are on um, hard and very hard. So, randomly you can or not find. Let's hope the Cerberus doesn't jump in. Oh, if it's not one asshole, it's another asshole. How dare you, How dare you follow me through this hospital? I work here, man. It's cold. It's gotta have a name. So this is a dangerous room, because you can insta-die, but don't want to hang on me, yep. But this is a safe room beyond. Now I'll probably be greeted by, uh, with two zombies when I come back, which is okay, as long as I don't get full out, full out of the window. Another hemostat, let's make a pill out of this. Damn, I'll have too much. You know what, fuck the clip. Or... Better yet, fuck the this thing. So this is a George only thing. You can find these uh, recovery medicine bases and combine them with this kit to make recovery medicine. Now there we go. Bravo team, bravo. Thank you team. Uh, they're burning the leech man already. So um, on easier difficulties, there will be way more of these, but. We get two, which is enough. It should be more than enough for the final boss. Everything I have. Now I just need the card. I'll drop another thing. Like the clip. Because you really need only maybe three or four bullets to kill this boss. If you know what you're doing. Even on very hard. Just somebody has to be the bait. And somebody has to time and use the environmentals. Uh, smart. Trying not to, to kill your team. And it'll work. Okay, let's get the card. Let's not make him wait. Is there anything up here? Could I sacrifice something for that? No. You know what? I am the doctor. I am not picking up ammo and weapons. I have shooters for that. George is very useful with his tackle. Because they miss easily. Now I hope I don't get pulled. Nice. Okay, he didn't even jump in. So that window is very dangerous. Because if you don't move quick there, the zombie can just pop in and pull you out and Sarenar. Okay, we don't need to be here. Actually, there's no more leech man. Is there a blue herb, maybe? <coughs> there's a zombie. Wrong locker, never mind. We'll go. I think... I'm not sure if this is a very hard thing or... Uh, or... I've just opened the... I think I opened the wrong locker. I could go to the... Hey, come on. Come on. No need to go there. I think that was Cindy. Oh. Miss me. Okay. Sometimes uh, zombies. Oh, open you. Ugh. B1F. Let's go open that. 
<laughs> well, since this game started the whole shit fuckery with rapid uh, transformations, I wouldn't be surprised. No. I wouldn't be surprised. No, no, no. I wanted to keep stay in slot one. If they were there for like an hour or two. Because this is where all the the card is okay low rate. I want to use the iframes. Smart. Yes. All right. Dear God. I wasn't ad libbing, so that's maybe why they lost me. I was lost in my own jibber jabber. But I'm doing what George should do. Uh, bashing and healing. Well, preparing the heals at least. I'll let you heal yourself. Fuck you. Okay, that one was sleepy. Now the trick is a lot of people get lost at these angles because of the, like I mentioned, there's a 3D and a, a point of view and a tank control scheme. Uh, the stick is like where you pull it, there it's where they go. And the D-pad is the opposite. It's like the tank controls. Oh, right. Okay, I'll sacrifice myself to this leech and run away, actually. I can, yeah. I didn't even have to pick that They're up. Not stopping. Wait for a minute. Right. I have to combine it that way so it stays in slot 1. Then bait this leech here to jump. Yep. Pop, pop, pop. And then get the key. Oh, there's even bullets here. Come on. Does she have some? Come on. I hope she takes the bullets. Do not take the padlock key, please. Oh, that guy didn't even get up. Cindy? Yoko. Cindy. Yes. Yes. Thank you. All right. What's good? Did you find something? Oh my god. Is there nothing useful? I guess there isn't. Right. That's what I was going to say. So if you do that, like if if I hold the same direction, now I have to uh, I can do both. Come on, come on, come on. We can do it, iframes. Come on, Cindy. Oh. I like how I... I thank you. I like how I learned to... Oh my god, there's someone there. Amelia. Or, okay. Alright. Uh, if you... If you keep holding the same, same direction when the angle changes, so you don't listen to your instincts, you keep running the same direction. This is something a lot of games with this control scheme done, like uh, Legacy of Kane, Defiance, I think even Devil May Cry has the same thing. Uh, so basically you just gotta fight the instinct to first see where you're running, then change the direction to that. So I'm keep holding down whatever's happening here, keep moving, and then when I see that the camera's changed, I push it up. And that way, it really saves, can save you. Yesterday, I had a fumble in the in the chemical room with oh, more blues. Okay, let me use this first. Um, because I I panicked and I kept moving the sticks, so Yoko should just kept running in circles. It somehow worked. It was lucky, but it was really cool. Uh, normally, you, you want to do that, or if you know, like if it's a long stair, I just keep up on the D-pad because that way. I don't like whatever the angle is, I don't have to worry about that. Look at this, I'm georging this up. Have a look. Have a look. I found it. Oh Good. I found it. <laughs> Sind is eating a, a few herbs too much. <laughs> we don't need the reds, thank you though. We ready though? I'm just gonna bait. Somebody take this. Reagan? Who's Reagan? Yoko. Good. Uh, Alyssa. Yoko. Right. Somebody take it. Whoever's Reagan. Thank you so much. And I got a scrub brush. Ha <laughs> ha. Are you calling me a scrub, sir? Or ma'am? Right. Well, I'm still worried for no, please somebody give some help to Reagan. Oh, wait, that's that's the healer. Wait, is that the healer? Shouldn't that be Amelia? I'm confused now. I don't know who's who. Well, they did introduce that to uh, the ports, Xbox CC ports. Uh, personally, I don't use them. I enjoy the tank controls of all games with static camera angles because it makes sense the most. I get why they use them. But 
even before that actually Resident Evil 2 on the N64 so the Nintendo 64 version had the control scheme where you could use the analog stick wherever they're moving they're going Th this exact same ex actually control scheme and the uh, previous time well, so last time I streamed the entirety of Resident Evil 2 on N64 I did it with like classic 10 controls I, I have a ton of health I'm gonna sacrifice myself you guys go He's gonna jump forward now really fast, I know him. Yeah, okay. I'm... I like how it's like spazzing out. Blah, 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 blah. You can hit me once more, come on. Come on, bitch. Come on. Yeah. When he's doing that, yeah, he can reach you from like far away. It's okay. Okay, don't fall. You just need to not fall. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, keep punching the bitch. He's gonna spray me now. Alright. God damn it, I stepped into every fucking basket pool I could. I shouldn't move for a few seconds. Okay. Too early, I think. I think he wasn't affected. We can still do it. Come on, bitch. Okay, missed me. So you will see vibration from the pipes it may explode. I'll go do it, I have a ton of health. I have a ton of health but it keeps running out. Okay, it's dangerous. Yeah! I think it's time to use the last pill. This is the most health I've actually used in this section, but I'm really relaxed. <laughs> Beat him so many times, I got cocky. Let's evade his, like, sucker of death, whatever it's called. Stop spitting, come here, bitch. Face this mano y mano, or licho y mano, whatever. Yes, burn him, yeah, all right. Yes, go team. Ah, oh, fucking, Urgh. tentacles of death. Well, I used the most of my health, which is cool. That's also something. How's my team? Amelia's got health. I just keep an eye on her. Come on, you can do it. Oh, you spritz an asshole. Okay, time to shoot the bastard. No, move from there. No, no, don't get killed. Come on, Alyssa. Come on. What's going on? You killed her. Okay, we'll revive her, yeah. I hope it's not... It's not in instant death. <laughs> he dies. Okay. I have nothing to give you. Okay, we're all good. We had to sacrifice one, but that's what it's like on... Uh, on very hard. Sure, here's my scrub brush. I don't know. I don't know who's who. So in file two, at least it gives you like a <laughs> yes, this but a flesh wound. In file two, like it tells you their actual names, but right now I'm saying Yoko, Cindy, and Alyssa, and I haven't learned who is whom here. So I'm just gonna guess Amelia's uh, Cindy because that's what I learned. What a gentleman! Run, run in front of the ladies. Go. This is my hospital. I'm the captain of it. I will die with it. Yes. While doing ballet in the sewers. Yes. As tradition says. Sure. Go. Oh, okay. She dodged it. Can I do then my thing then? Almost. I don't know where the limit is. There we go. Tackle the ending. I literally tackled the ending. Yeah, but which character types they are, uh, are they? That's what I'm asking. But there's a hundred characters, so to say. They're all the same eight types, right? But who's going to learn who's who? I mean, in time, I guess I will. Uh, file 2 will definitely help, because as I said, they actually call them by names there. That was pretty good. That was... I'm, I'm happy with this. Nobody died. We did a... Uh, semi-successful ball break we were healed Cindy will get fired but yeah that's um this was good I don't know what else to say
So Amelia's Yoko, Regan could have been Yoko or Alyssa, and Cindy's a Cindy. <laughs> I thought all this time Amelia's the Cindy. But oh well. Kathy. We'll see. Kathy is Cindy. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I should have remembered that. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right, folks. That's it for me for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Uh, I hope I entertained you. Uh, thanks to my team uh, for making this possible because running in single player would have been a nightmare. You can expect daily outbreak streams. Tomorrow we're tackling. Uh, File 2 will go all campaigns in order. Probably on normal, I'm pretty much a File 2 noob. Uh, the the decision, uh, Desperate Times is pretty straightforward, but uh, End of the Road can go either way. Uh, <laughs> and or the beginning. Because it's another huge map, but it's worth it. And uh, over the next few days, I'll play all these scenarios, try to get all the different endings with each character. So there's a lot of endings, there's a lot to see. That's it for me. Till next time, stay safe. Bye for now.